Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good to be here this morning. Yeah. Once again, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is our call to worship. Our scripture reading for this morning comes from the 10th chapter of Hebrews. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath con consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearers of his holy word. At this time, we would have our, our prayer by Reverend Thornton, and immediately following, we will have our choir. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the day yeah. Yeah. that the Lord has made. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Yeah. Heavenly Father, yeah. Lord God Almighty, yeah. we come to you today giving you thanks, giving you glory, giving you honor, oh God. Yeah. We praise your holy name. Yeah. Father God, we ask that you forgive us of our sins this morning, oh God. Yeah. Cleanse us, oh God. Yeah. We ask that you Present us, Father God, faultless before your very throne yes, yes. of grace, O oh God. Yes, yes. Father God, we ask a blessing over for the further portion of this service, yes, O oh God. Yes. We ask a blessing over every person under the sound of my voice, Lord. Yes. Both in the house of worship and online, O oh God, we ask a blessing over each one of these, your children, O oh God. Yes, yes. Father God, we ask a special blessing over the man of God bringing your word this morning, oh God. Thank you for your choir as we sing unto you, O oh Lord. Yes. Father God, we ask that you continue to keep us. We thank you for your keeping power, your staying power, oh God. We thank you for your redeeming power, oh God. We ask that you bless each and every one of us, oh God. Draw in all wandering minds, oh God, that our minds and our hearts are stayed on you this morning, O oh Lord. Father God, we praise your name. Yes. We stand before you giving you honor and glory, yes. O oh God. Yes. Yes. All these blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
on making a way. Keeps on making a way.
Because my worship, my worship is for real. I Touching the ministry to the saints, it is superfluous for me to write to you. For I know the fortress of your mind, for which I boast of you to them of mine, for which I boast of you to them of Macedonia, that Achaia was ready to a year ago. Your zeal had provoked very many. Yet have I sent the brethren, lest our boasting of you should be in vain in the in this behalf, that as I said, ye may be ready. Lest happily if they of Macedonia come with me and find you unprepared. We, that we say not, ye, should be ashamed in this same confident boasting. Therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they should go before you unto, unto you and make up before your hand your bounty, whereof ye had noticed before that the same might be ready 
as a matter of bounty and not as of covetous. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound in every good work. Amen. At this time, as our ushers come forward, we ask you to make ready your offering. Ms. Reed, can you give us a song? Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve.
have your way, Lord. Y'all know I'm an old man. Really, now I am. <laughs> Amen. Uh, amazing grace. How reads, Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of the people. Thou hast covered all their sin, Selah. Thou hast taken away all the wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Mm. Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Mm. Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and, great, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God, the Lord, will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Yeah. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Mm -hmm. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. May the Lord have a blessing Amen. to the readers and to the hearers of his word. Amen. Revive us again. Revive us again. You may be seated. Dear Father, we come again. Thank you for another day. Thank you for this opportunity to stand before your people to give what you have given to me. Lord, I ask that I would decrease, that you would increase, that convicting power would go forth. Help us, Lord, as we stand behind the sacred desk. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity again. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. Revive us again. Amen. Revive us again. Revival is regeneration, renewal, renovation, rebirth, recovery, resurrection, renaissance, and restoration just to name a few. Yes. Revival makes the suggestion that whatever is being revived is already in existence. Mm. Already been generated. 
already created, already have been birthed or born. Mm -hmm. Revival makes a statement that it is impossible to revive something that has never existed. Mm -hmm. Reviving. Revive. Reviving an old car. Mm -hmm. Reviving an old home. Mm -hmm. Revival is making new what once was or already is existing. Mm -hmm. Spiritual revival is a visitation of God which brings to life his people, Christians, who have been sleeping mm. and restores a deep sense of God's near presence and holiness. Mm -hmm. Spiritual revival brings a vivid sense of our sinful depravity. Spiritual revival causes a profound exercise of heart in repentance, praise, and love with, with an evangelistic outflow. Each revival has its own distinctive features, but the pattern is the same for every revival. First, God comes to us. Mm -hmm. Revival always begins with our awareness of our need of God's divine presence mm -hmm. in our lives. Amen. Second, the word of God is loved and embraced and obeyed like never before. The sense of God's closeness creates an overwhelming awareness of our own sins and sinfulness, thereby producing appreciation for the power of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah, all right, all right. Sure. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. All, right. all right, all right. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of of the Lamb. Do you rest each moment yeah. in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Revival creates pre, uh, pre appreciation within us for God. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. God, I appreciate you for what you've done. Mm. I appreciate you for what you are doing, yeah. and I'm going to appreciate you for what you will do yeah. in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Third, thirdly, our repentance deepens because causing us to turn from our wicked ways and giving our lives back to God. We dedicate yes, our lives. Yes, yes. Giving back to God yes. the authority that we stole from him, mm. from God, to make our own decisions mm -hmm. regarding our lives. Yeah. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> we return the throne of our heart back to God, yeah. Yeah. the rightful owner of our heart. Yeah. You didn't believe you stole it, did you? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, when, when, when you take matters into your own hand and don't consult God mm. in the things that you do, that we do, yeah. we are taking God off the throne of our hearts. Mm. Yeah. And who's sitting on that? It, it, it's not him. Mm. Finally, true. revival results in repentance and restitution, giving back to God what belongs to him, our hearts, our lives, our, our faithfulness, our devotion belongs to him. Mm -hmm. Fourth and finally in this pattern of revival, the Spirit of God restores our relationship with God. Godliness multiplies, Christians gain maturity, and converts appear. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. You want your church to overflow with new people? Yeah. yeah. Get revived. Yeah. Yeah. You want the blessing of God to flow like it did once before? Yeah. Get revived. Yeah. Allow the Lord to change your heart, mind, and soul yeah. and get in line with Him. Yeah. What announcement could the average pastor or preacher make to the people next Sunday that would create less enthusiasm, less approval, less holy expectancy that he would soon begin a revival. Mm -hmm. Rather than this being 
the beginning of anything creative, it would be, in most cases, met with a yawn. The word revival used to be, used to be, yeah. Come on. an exciting word mm -hmm. to Christians. Yeah. We used to have revivals. You yeah. remember when we used to have revivals? Yeah. Growing yeah. up, having revivals? Yeah. There was something about a revival, something yeah. about a week long, two week long of preaching, hearing the word of God reviving yeah. Yeah. our souls, setting our souls straight, yeah. that gave us a new sense of purpose. Mm. Yeah. What the church needs is a revival. Yeah. The church needs to be revived. And you can't place that on one individual. Mm. Mm. My dad used to say when I was a kid, when he was preaching, you have to bring some fire in your bucket. Mm. You got to come with something. Yeah. You can't expect the preacher to preach you happy. Come on, you come on. You can't expect the choir to sing you happy yeah. if you don't come here with some purpose. Right. Yeah. Enter into his gates yeah. with his and enter into his yes. with yeah. praise. Be thankful unto yeah. him yeah. and love him. Yeah. For the Lord is good. Yeah. His mercy is everlasting. Yeah. And his truth endureth yeah. long for yeah. But guess what? Guess what? You just can't show up. Yeah. Huh. You come gotta on. show up with something. Yeah. yeah. Thanksgiving. You bring in Thanksgiving with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bring in praise with you. Amen. So many other, so many times we bring other things <laughs> with us. <laughs> we are not opposed to revivals in other areas of our life. Mm. The revival of nature appeals to us. We anticipate spring. New life is restored to the vegetation on earth. The bare limbs of trees are, are, are clothed mm -hmm. with green foliage, green leaves. The naked earth puts on the garments of grass and colorful flowers. Mm -hmm. We rejoice and feel good about this type of revival. Mm -hmm. We love revival of the body. If it has been sick, we rejoice when it is restored to health. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We walk enjoy with a with a new strength that we didn't have in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It gives us a new zest for living when our bodies have been revived. Yeah. Such a revival is cherished. What if it would be announced that the economy was heading for a revival? Mm -hmm. Everyone is is eager to to listen to such an announcement and and receive it with enthusiastic gratitude. Yeah. But when we begin to speak of revival in our spiritual wholeness yeah. Yeah. and in our relationship to God, our interest wanes. Mm. Right. Our minds wander. Mm. We slip into a comatose state and wonder how soon will this tiresome ordeal be over. Mm. Even in this, even if this is an exaggeration, the question is. Why is it so close to the truth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Revival. The answer seems to lie primarily in the fact that too many so-called revivals in the past have been man-made counterfeits. Many have gotten up a, a, a three-ring circus All and right. manipulated the masses about all right. The use of emotional techniques uh -huh. and then left them to settle down into a state of coldness and depression, my, making my, them my. worse off than before. Mm, come on, come on, come the on. The negative Rhea. experience has made Christians fear revival. Mm. Counterfeit healings have made people mm. skeptical of believing in the real thing. You know, yeah. you've heard it, you've heard it. Yeah. By the time you get home, yeah. Your home will not be the same way you left it. We've, heard, we've all heard those things. We've all heard those, those uh, 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 prophecies that God is going to heal us. God is going to make us new. We've heard all those prophecies in a revival. But did it come to pass? Did it come to pass what the, the prophet said? That 
when you get home or or you will have a new car waiting on you or, or did all those things come to pass? No. There's something to be said about prophecies that don't come true yeah. from a prophet. Yeah. That means that prophet is not of God. Amen. And you shouldn't follow him. Amen. As P. Long says in his book, Prophetic Pearls, wrote of conditions many years ago. The religious theatrical skits which mm. we have been carried which have been carried on in some cities in this country in the past few decades by the get quick rich actors mm -hmm. who don't fit in the pulpit uh -huh. mm. or on the stage yeah, right. or are even called by God mm -hmm. have disgusted the term revival that we have all we have all been led to shun revival because of some of the things that have been going on mm -hmm. about revival. Mm -hmm. Many of us can identify with this negative attitude of to revival. But let us recognize that no abuse of truth should be allowed to rob us of the use of truth. Mm -hmm. Many of us can identify with this negative attitude of revival. We dare not throw out the baby with the dirty water. You heard that before? <laughs> Meaning, don't throw out the favorable because of the unfavorable. Don't throw out the, the good because of the bad, dirty water. Let us not cease to quote, to quote the scripture because... The devil himself quoted it to the Lord in temptation. Mm -hmm. Just because he quoted it to him in temptation does not mean that we can't quote scripture. Mm -hmm. So don't throw away the word of God because some people have made a mockery right. of the word of God. Come on, That's come on. That's right, that's right. Everything good can be used poorly. Mm -hmm. Pastor Ella says you can be saved but live a, a waste, waste of life. Of life. Yeah. Yeah. Everything good can be used poorly yeah. and even for evil. But it is folly. It is ludicrous to forsake the good because mm -hmm. it can be abused. Mm -hmm. Revival is not only good, is not only a good word used in scripture, it is also a positive experience. Yeah. When rightly understood, we will long for it in the spiritual realm as we do in all er other areas of life. Yeah. The prefix re means back. It refers to going back to something original or former state. To repay means to pay back. To restrain means to hold back. Mm -hmm. To reply means to talk back. And we could go on and on. So the way to get ahead to go is to go back to the best you've ever were in terms of spiritual dedication mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and commitment. That's right. This means where you were at some point in the past more dedicated mm -hmm. than now. Now you might have wax cold. If, they, if it don't fit you, it don't fit you. <laughs> now you might have wax cold. Now you might have lost the fire that you once had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But revival serves the purpose of going back to that fire that you once had when you first got saved. Yeah. When you Come first on. found the Lord or when the Lord found you. Right, right, right. That song says, take me back. Yeah. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to where I first believed. Mm -hmm. Revival often comes or begins with people coming under deep conviction and crying out in confession and repentance for their sins. Mm -hmm. Revival happens when we realize our need to be spiritually restored and revitalized. Mm -hmm. Here in the 85th Division of Psalms, we have such... An account. You're going to go with me, aren't you? Come on, let's go. Very 
meticulously arranged and positioned in the corridors of chronicle history is a narrative that can aid us in our quest for revival. Mm -hmm. Here in the text, Psalms 85 is believed to have been penned after the return of the Jews out of their captivity in Babylon when they still remain under some tokens of God's displeasure, which they here pray for the removal of. Psalms 85 is of public interest that lie near and dear to the psalmist's heart and was written for the great congregation. Mm -hmm. The nation at this juncture was in a deluge. They were engulfed. They were bombarded. Above them were, were clouds. Below them were waves. And everything seemed to be dark, dismal, and hopeless. They were between life and death. They were between hope and fear. They were between a rock and a hard place. The nation is in affliction and distress, and by their direction from God, they are making their application to God. You know, we've been studying in about the prophets and how God used them to when they came out of exile back to their homeland. They were in exile for 70 years. Mm -hmm. 70 years of doing something they had no business doing. Only to return to do the exact same thing <laughs> that got them in trouble in the first place. You, you know that's how we are. That, 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 that's how we are. But they were eager to hear from God. And they were here making an application to God. And God here now is ready to give ear and attention to answering the prayers of his people that by his spirit, in the word, and in the hearts, he indicts their petitions and puts words in their mouth. Amen. First John chapter 1, verse 9, the record states that if we confess our sins, he... God is faithful to and just to forgive us from all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I have just three observations here for your consideration, our consideration uh, of what revival causes. One, revival causes a recollection of past revival. Revival causes requesting present restoration. Revival causes rejoicing in future redemption. Mm -hmm. Here in the text, the psalmist reflected on God's past mercy that he had shown to the sinful chosen people. God had forgiven them and returned them to the promised land. After 70 years of judgment, God had returned, had turned from his wrath. The psalmist recounts how blessed the land, how blessed the land and delivered his, how God blessed the land and delivered his people from slavery in verse 1. Verse 1, he says, Lord, thou hast been favorable unto the land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. The land God gave them had been devastated by the Babylonians' ruthless attack. Imagine the scene of the remnant that returned after 70 years of captivity. Jerusalem had been really destroyed, and rubbish remained. 70 years of desolation had left both the city and the countryside unattended and overgrowing and lying in waste. This is not the same land that they left. In generations long past, God had, had blessed the land by bringing his people out of Egyptian slavery so, so they could inherit and develop the land. Now, God had once again showered his favor on the land. He had delivered his people from captivity and brought them back home. Jeremiah 29, 14. In Jeremiah 29, 14, sorry. They would rebuild 
and God would restore Israel's glory. Mm -hmm. The psalmist also recounts how God forgave them and covered his people from sin in verse 2. Mm -hmm. He says, Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of the people, and thou hast covered all their sin. Mm -hmm. This is like a precursor to the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people, and hast covered their all their sin. Not some. He's covered all of their sin. By restoring his people to the promised land, God showed that he had graciously forgiven their iniquity. He had graciously forgiven their sins and graciously forgiven their trespasses. Mm -hmm. The word iniquity, abound, speaks of the perverseness of the people and of the, their guiltiness as they stood before God. And when they returned to God, he forgave them and lifted the guilt of their sins from them and carried the guilt away and covered them by hiding their sins from view. Yeah. This is what he did. This is what he did to the children of Israel. And not only did he do that to the children of Israel, he does that to you and to me. When we come before him, repenting of our sins, Turning from our wicked ways. Yeah. Psalms 32, 1 and 2 says, the record states, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in his spirit there is no deceit. And because of God's mercy, their sins were no longer before the Lord. God had did what? He threw those sins into the what? The sea of forgiveness. But they sinned again. Mm -hmm. Psalms 103, 11, and 12 says, The record informs us, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is the mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far, he has removed our transgressions from us. Mm -hmm. You don't have to let your sin beat you up. Amen. 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 You don't have to. You don't have to live in the past regrets and mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do, it's because you want to. Mm -hmm. The psalmist recounts how good how God withdrew his fury and turned away from his fierce wrath in verse 3. Mm -hmm. Thou hast taken away all thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from, thy, from the fierceness of thy anger. Mm -hmm. God was mad. Mm -hmm. God was mad. God's anger against his chosen people was righteous and well-deserving. Through the prophets, God had repeatedly warned them of the impending wrath. He warned them that if they did not turn away from their wicked ways, the same thing was going to happen again. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verses 15 and 16, the word of God records, And the Lord God of the fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up before time and sending because he had compassion on his people and on the dwelling place. But they did something. They mocked him. They mocked the messengers. They mocked the messengers. My brothers and my sisters, be very careful of how you treat the messenger. The messenger is just being obedient to God. Yeah. So in your retaliation, you are not Come on. hurting really the messenger. Right. Right. You're going against God. Right. And you're hurting yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah. Be careful how you treat the messenger. Right. They mock the messengers of God and despise his word 
despised his words and misused the prophets until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people till there was no remedy. Mm. God got God let it go on. Okay, okay, okay. You don't want to correct it. You don't want to correct it. You don't want to correct it. Then guess what? <laughs> Ain't no remedy yet. You're going to have to suffer the consequences. Suffer what you have to go through because you did not listen to the man of God. But still, they persisted in their sin. And without question, God was right in judging them harshly as he did. But then God granted his forgiveness and withdrew his fury and turned away his fierce wrath. No longer were his people sentenced to judgment. In lifting the guilt of their sin, the Lord was lifting his chastening hand from Israel. In other words, he stopped whipping them. He put his belt away. You remember. You remember. It didn't seem like uh, the lashes were going to stop. But what mom and daddy were doing, they were correcting us. Because something in the future, if we didn't get corrected now, was going to be even worse for us in the future. But here, God put his belt away. I don't know about you, Second Baptist, but I don't want to experience the wrath of God. Because when God gets started, 70 years later, they were still being chastened by God. And not just one time, but multiple times. And that there comes a point after after I got enough whooping. So long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got yeah. 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 And that's exactly what it did. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, my mom whooped me. My mom whooped me just about. Once or twice a week. <laughs> Just about I said. But my dad my dad my, my, my dad he didn't whoop me that often, but when he did Storing up that rat. <laughs> you know you got a whooping when daddy whooped you. Still remember that. And I can recall all I can say is, Lord, have mercy on us. Mm. Seems a second. God's mercy is revealed in a way that deals with us when we sin. Because he loves us so much, he will not permit us to continue in sin. Therefore, he disciplines us. But the good news is, he also forgives us. When we confess our sins, he carries our sins away and conceals them from his sight. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, yeah. God cancels the debt we owe Thank for you, our Lord. sins Thank and you. no longer holds us responsible you, for it. Thank we are covered you. by the blood yeah. that does not give you the license to keep on doing it. Sadly, many people live with the guilt of sin that God had forgiven them and forgotten. Mm -hmm. Satan uses guilt to rob us of the joy that Christ died to give us. Yeah. Yeah. Christ bore our burdens, the burdens of our sins on the cross. Yeah. And, we and when we confess and receive him, our sins are carried away yeah. by the mercy of God. He remembers it no more, and Man. neither should we. He wants us to live with him with the joy of being fully forgiven. And not with a cloud of guilt hanging over our heads. What a wonderful, merciful, awesome, blessed God we serve. The word of God informs us in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 5, that God who is rich in mercy for his great love, for with he loved us, 
even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace, ye are saved. The word of God notifies us in Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is the faithfulness. God is faithful to us. God is faithful to us. That's why the choir said this morning, you don't know my story. Or the things that I've been through. You don't feel my pain. What I had to go through just to get here. You'll never understand my praise. Don't try to figure out. Because what? My worship is for real. That's why I worship. I, I, I can't say for no one else, but I know why I worship. Because he's forgiven me. He's looking at my faults and saw my needs. He's lifted me up out of the muck and the mire. He's turned me around. He's established my going. He's been joy in my heart. A song in my mouth. He's given to me what no one else can give to me. You don't know my story. So just as that for that, I've been through too much not to worship him. In this last year alone, we've all been through too much not to worship him. church sitting here yes. looking at somebody else to make you happy. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Come on. Turn some fire in your bucket. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right, Reverend. I've been through too much yeah. not to worship you. Yeah. You've been sick. God heals you. Yeah. You're sick now. God is keeping you. We've had downs. Some of us had COVID. You've been through too much not to worship him. You could have died. And you're still here. You've been through too much not to worship him. And the psalmist here, the psalmist here, come to the conclusion that, Lord, you brought me out. Lord, it was you. That brought me out. Lord, it was you without a doubt. Lord, it was you that came and rescued me. That word rescued means to be snatched. He came and snatched you. Out of your dung hill. He snatched you from dying. He snatched you from losing your life. He snatched you from being everlasting lost. He snatched you.
trying to let my my my, my past revivals. It helps me. It helps me to request present restoration. The return of the people to the land was no guarantee that all of them had returned to the Lord. Just because you come to church. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because you're in the house. Yeah. Don't mean you don't make it. He said, everybody that cries, Lord, Lord, ain't saved. Just because you holler, that don't mean you saved. God had forgiven them collectively, had forgiven the people collectively. He had lifted his judgment from the nation of Israel and the remnant had returned to the land. Even so, the restoration of the nation did not mean that all the people had repented. Mm. Just because they came back does not mean that they all repented. The book of Ezra, which we studied a few weeks ago in Sunday school, records that the people continued to live in their grievous sins after returning mm -hmm. back to Israel. Ezra 9, 1 through 2 says, Now when these things were done, the princes came to me saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Emirates, the Moabites, the Egyptians and the Amorites. And, the mother, I, yeah. and all of them. For they have taken their daughters for themselves and for their sons, saw so that the holy seed might be mingled them, and, min, and have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah. 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 Yea, the hand of the princes and the rulers have been chief in this trespass. Yeah. 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 The people had 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 wandered because Make it play. Yep. the one that was supposed to be standing yes, wasn't standing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. The one that had been elected by God to give the people the word weren't giving the That's people right. the word. That's they were living right. in right. every That's kind of way. Right. 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 Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help me. Come to Sunday school. Sunday school. A uh, uh, Sunday school is at. Uh, Thursday nights, <laughs> six thirty. Church uh, so school. That was Sunday school lesson. Church, church school. Church school. <laughs> Those whose hearts remain hardened yeah. toward God will continue to receive His painful display discipline. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the godly of the remnant, those that returned that were godly, asked the Lord to restore His people and to set aside His judgment once again in their lives. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. Somebody's praying for you. Somebody's praying. Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Other people are praying for you when you can't get your stuff together. We're praying that you get it together. <laughs> So that God can use all of us collectively in winning souls yeah. for the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. The effects of God's judgment lingered on in the land. The people met in earnest and sincere prayer to return to the way things used to be when God, when God had protected and prospered his people. They wanted to go back to that time. Mm -hmm. If the people would repent... God would forgive them and heal their land. Yes. Second Chronicles 7.14 says the word of God communicates to us. If, y'all know it, mm. my people yeah. who are called by my name yeah. do what? Yeah. Humble themselves yeah. and do what? Pray. 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 And something else. Pray. Seek my face. Yeah. And something else. Yeah. Turn Pray. from their Pray. wicked ways. Pray. Then God says he's going to do something. Yeah. Yeah. He says, he says, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. You want a revival to take place? People of God, children of God, this is who you're talking to, children of God, you've got to humble yourself. Humble yourself. Time out for everybody want to be in the spotlight. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. 
humble yourself and pray and yeah. seek my face. Yeah. You're seeking other things. Yeah. Right, he right. said, seek my face. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seek my face. Yeah. And then turn from your wicked ways. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to hear it from heaven. Yeah. And we'll forgive our sins and heal our land. Take note. The people prayed for God to turn them back and to bring them into repentance mm -hmm. and to restore them mm -hmm. into the path of righteousness. Amen. The people appealed to God. The people pleaded. The people requested. The, pe the people begged. The people beseeched God. The, the people invoked God as their salvation and savior. The people here realized that they had no help apart from God. Amen. They had no help apart from him and his work in their hearts. Because of their desperation of relief, or for relief, God's anger or judgment seems to be ongoing. Mm -hmm. The people had participated in this prayer, that had participated in this prayer, were desperate to be relieved from God's judgment. Once and for all, seven years. You know, somebody got to get it together. Yeah, 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 Seventy yeah. years is long yeah, enough. Y'all got yeah. come on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can hear somebody in the crowd now. Y'all got to come on. Yeah. We've been over here for seventy years. God yeah. wants us to get it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on, yeah. get in line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The people participating in prayer were desperate to be relieved of God's judgment once and for all. They as they surveyed the shambles of their once shining city, they surely felt that things would never be as they once were. They felt that God's anger towards them would never end. And if the people did not repent and con but continued in this insane, 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 mm -hmm. insane course of action or behavior, then they were right. God's wrath would continue on down to future generations. Therefore, they were desperate for relief. Desperate for God to send a sweeping revival that would affect all of the people. The people needed to be revived again. They wanted to be filled with his praises again. They wanted to be filled with the joy in him again. Israel desperately needed a touch from God that would convict sinful hearts. Touch, a touch that would turn lives around. A touch from God that would be extraordinary. They needed a divine touch. They needed God's divine intervention in their lives that would turn people back to him. Second Baptist desperately needs a touch from God. Second Baptist needs God to convict their hearts. Second Baptist of what had happened, but also what was still happening. Ah, it was still happening. The people's hearts were still not fully turned to God. It was still happening. People were going wayward. It was still happening. They were just like us. When we were little children after being disciplined for doing something that we know we had no business doing, only to get disciplined and go back and do the exact same thing that you were disciplined for doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Over and over again, this has been our dilemma. And I can hear my mama say, Boy, when you gonna learn? <laughs> when you gonna learn? The people here prayed because they saw a need for God's unfailing mercy and love as well as his salvation and the deliverance of their life. This is a classic case of the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Obedient servants of Second Baptist. Obedient servants of Second Baptist. Obedient servants uh -huh. of Second Baptist. No matter how dark the night seems to be in our world and in our nations and our churches and in our communities and in our homes, we must never stop praying. Yeah, 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 yeah. The obedient must never stop praying for a revival to happen. Those who know and love God and live for him must never grow tired of crying out for a spiritual awakening and revival. We got to keep on doing it. We got to keep on doing it. Keep pressing forward. Keep pressing. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep on praying. The righteous must plead for the fresh wind of God's spirit to blow over our church and to set the people's heart aflame again. We got to keep on praying. And I am of this contention that God cannot breathe new life, that God can breathe new life into dry bones. He can do it. That's why you're sitting here. <laughs> because he breathed life into some dry bones. All right, sir. Thank you, Lord. God can stir us all to life again. To commitment again. Yes, Lord. To dedication again. Yes. When the army of Jesus Christ arises, the tide of evil in our nation can be turned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When the army of Jesus Christ right. arises, yeah. 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 God can heal our land. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after God heals our land, it causes us to rejoice in the future of redemption. Amen. Amen. In this portion of the passage, we have a communal prayer for help. The portion expresses confidence that the help they pray for will indeed come. Mm -hmm. It's going to come. Keep on praying. Yes. Verse 8 marks a transition from the complaint to assurance that God will save. The, this verse likely represents the voice of the priest or prophet who served as part of the temple's worshiper after they pray for divine intervention. The worship leader invites those who are listening and hearing God's word and reminds them of God's certain response to that prayer. The promise is that God will speak peace. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God will yeah. speak peace. God promises peace for to his faithful people. He promises peace to his saints. Yeah. The psalmist declared that God would speak a message of peace to the godly people of Israel. Their hearts were heavy because God's judgment and, and the ongoing sin of the many people. Despite everything that had taken place, they had to remain faithful Thank you, Lord. to God. Amen. No matter what you're going through, yeah. you got to remain faithful to God. Amen. We were in a hope, and we're still in it, in a pandemic. Right. Mm -hmm. We must remain faithful yeah, right. to God. Right. Yeah. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. But we, gotta re we must remain faithful. The people of God would enjoy fulfilled, abundant lives even in the midst of their difficulties. Yeah. But the prerequisite is to this. The prerequisite is this, that they return not to their foolish ways. God had a word for those who had repented and come back to him. But they must not backslide. 
they must not return to their foolish, sinful ways. They could expect the experience of God's peace as long as they walk in obedience to the Lord's commands. Well, I know y'all like, I told you revival, when you get in with the word, people get short. Yeah. They want to they want to sit all day at a game. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to the word of God, oh <laughs> but let me get out of here before but before I go this is a song we used to sing when I was a little boy this song that we used to sing has stuck with me all of my life this song has been an encouragement and my prayer this song has come out of a little book this song, it's an old song. <laughs> this song is number 121 in the Gospel Pearl. Y'all remember the Gospel yeah, Pearl? Yeah, yeah. Little, 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 little red book. Yeah. Some of y'all don't even know about yeah. it. <laughs> we ain't that old, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the song is called Revive Us Again. We praise thee, yeah, 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 oh God, yeah, 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 yeah. for the son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. We praise thee, oh God, for the spirit of life who Come has on. shown us our Savior Come on here. and has scattered our night. Come on here. Yeah. We praise thee, oh God, for the joy that thou hast given. Yes, sir. To the saints in common, these four tastes of heaven. Mm. Revive us again. Yeah. Fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen.
street. Um, but perhaps there was a notice in there that said Second Baptist was looking for a new pastor. <laughs> Thank you so much, Reverend. Amen. Right, I know we just got through 
So my wife gives me the signal to pray. <laughs> Father in heaven, we thank you so much thank for you, your Lord. goodness you, and mercy. Yes, thank Lord. you, O oh God, for the charge to revive us again. Yes. We ask that you would continue to lead us and guide us. We thank you for the men of God who are going to stand to declare your word. We ask that you would bless each one of them. Thank you for Reverend Reed on the day. Yes, Lord. How he blessed us. Uh, with the word. We ask Heavenly Father that you would watch over us, guide us, and direct us. Yes, now unto him who is able to present you faultless before the very throne of grace to the only wise God be glory, power, and dominion both now, henceforth, and forevermore. And all the people of God sang together. Amen. <laughs> You know we need revival. <laughs> God bless you. Greet our, greet our guests before they leave. 